On this episode of Crypto Moose, we're gonna go over my hardware wallets I use most. Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. Before we get started, I do wanna remind you all to kindly smash the like button subscribe and leave comments down below. We're gonna be going into the hardware wallets that I use most, um, wallets in general, and I want you to leave your comments. So whatever question you may have, comment them down below. Um, also, you guys can pick up a Loose Moose NFT that will bring you closer to this channel as well. A lot of you have already done the research and maybe you found it difficult to find out which hardware wallet to get. Uh, maybe you're still wondering, hey, do I really need one? Which you do. So if you have anything over, you know, an amount that you would not like to lose, I think you should pick one up. So we're going to get into a $50 option, a $200 option, as well as a $100 option, um, and even cheaper. So I want to get into that. And the main reason being is because when you get into crypto, the point of it is that you can hold tokens in a non-custodial fashion, meaning you own the private keys, okay? So your tokens, the way that you send them from your address to a different address is you sign a transaction, okay? So if you're using an online exchange, like a centralized exchange, they own your keys for you. If it's not your keys, it's not your cheese. If you don't own the private keys, technically you don't own your crypto. On top of owning your private keys, the beautiful thing about a hardware wallet is that your keys are held offline. So if you set up something like a MetaMask and you have your private keys on your wallet, well, your software, someone could hack into that and you could lose some of your funds. So you should have a hardware wallet because it acts as an intermediary. Ultimately, it's the best way to hold your crypto. Just pick one up and you will not regret it. Everyone I know, that I help encourage pick up a hardware wallet, they never regret it. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to help you identify which hardware wallet is going to be best for you, depending on budget, use case, etc. But also, I want to explain why I keep going back to these wallets. The way I look at hardware wallets depends on my current situation. So even for me, it's evolving. If anything, I would like to implement even more. By the way, you do not need a hardware wallet if you do not have a lot in crypto. Like if you have less than hundred bucks, don't even pick up a hardware wallet, just buy the tokens. But remember that unless you have a hardware wallet, you're not gonna have the best form of protection against scams. Um, basically, it's gonna be someone that connects to your centralized exchange, they uncover your password or they just sign a transaction on your behalf. Typically, when someone drains your account, you connect to a bad website or they just get in your wallet somehow and they send a transaction away. With the hardware wallet, you need to physically know the pin and touch the device. The way you wanna think about it is that it acts as an intermediary. Okay, so it's important to understand a couple things. Number one, I am a crypto addict. I'm crypto moose, I get loose, I enjoy hardware wallets, Companies also send me hardware wallets. So this one I picked up myself, but for example, the Tangem, which we're gonna talk about, that was sent to me. So there are some wallets that I've gotten to use and experience and test out against others that I didn't have to pay for. So just keep that in mind as well. Um, the other thing is I've been doing cryptos for around three to five years. So when you think about it that way, I've put in some money and I have a lot more to lose compared to someone who's just starting. So depending on where you're at, keep that into consideration. All right, so let's get into why I use these hardware wallets the most. Um, let's start off with the Trezor Model T. This is by far my most used hardware wallet. The reason being is because I think it looks awesome. It holds a lot of different assets. It's been around probably the longest. And on top of this, it's got so much integration, so much partnerships 
with DAPs and DEXs. So when you're swapping assets, for example, I use Cardano a lot. You can hold Cardano on this wallet and you can connect using your Trezor through NAMI or through Lace or other devices. If you were to ask me, what is one hardware wallet that if I picked up, I wouldn't need another one, it would be the Trezor Model T. In fact, I would probably recommend the Trezor Safe 3. So we do have links down in the description below. Personally, I've helped out many business owners set up a crypto hardware wallet and get things started so that they can keep their assets secure. These are people that have a lot of money in crypto and I always recommend the Trezor Model T. Um, so if you have the money, this is around 230 euro, pick one up and you won't need anything else. Um, I will explain why I recommend having multiple and why you know, you could also pick up a Tangium or something else. But at the end of the day, the Trezor Model T, it looks good. You got the touch screen. The way I use this hardware wallet is typically it's going to be thrown in my bag. So it's kind of like an everyday carry along with my laptop. So if I know I'm going to make trades, if I know the market's gonna be volatile, I might grab this with me. So that's just the way I use it. It is USB type C. So it's very versatile and it's just great. Fits in a backpack and it's one of the best wallets, hands down. If you have the money and you want to just dive into crypto, I always recommend the Trezor Model T. So the next one is going to be the Ledger Nano S Plus. So I picked up this device to do an online course. And I already had the Ledger Nano S Plus, the old version, but you could only have a couple apps. But now with this one, you can have a lot more apps. And for me, the reason I like it, I don't have my car keys on me, do I? No, I don't. But this fits on my car keys. I toss this in a backpack, beautiful, right? Supports Cardano beautifully. Um, just the best bang for buck, really, um, if you can afford it. This is half the price. And this supports Cardano as well. Um, it supports basically the same thing as the Trezor. Now, I don't like the buttons as much, um, but it does look cool and it does look inconspicuous. So again, if somebody steals this, I'm fine. They don't know my pin. If someone steals this, it's fine. It's fine. You guys have your private key. So the idea of your hardware wallet, in my opinion, is you should keep it separate from your private keys, right? Um, so even by me talking about this, you shouldn't do it, but I'm already out there. I'm crypto moose and you know, it's just the way it goes in the space. So why I have this wallet is not because I plan to have it. It's because I was doing an online course and I just ended up using it a lot more than I thought it would. If you like ledger, it comes down to aesthetics. If you like the look of this versus this, pick this. But if you like the Trezor and if you can afford it, or if you're brand new to crypto, I recommend picking up a Trezor, right? Um, and we're going to go through another option as well. But at the end of the day, the Ledger is nice. And the one thing is for Cosmos with Ledger Live, they make it very easy for you to um, do staking. So I have this because I want something to stake for high APY with certain assets. So the Trezor does the job all across the board, but the ledger has its moment, right? The ledger has its place as well. And it's been around. I know there's been the talks of the ledger leaks, etc. but this is a great device. If you want to take it a step further, pick up the ledger X. That is the um, Bluetooth one. So this one is USB-C. This is the actual cable. So very simple, right? I can have this on my keys, this in my backpack, same cable, done. So I like that. Okay. So the next one we're going to talk about is going to be the Tangium. So if you are someone who just wants to carry around their wallet, if you're like me where, you know, you have a wallet on hand at all times, I recommend the Tangium. So I think they have a limited edition white version as well. And for this wallet, 
you can use code MOOSE and save up to 20% off a hardware wallet. So you guys can check out Tangem. It's a great wallet. Um, it's really unique in the fact that if you use your cell phone and if you have your wallet, all you have to do is tap the card and you put in your password and you can manage all of your assets. So this thing has been a beauty. I keep it in my wallet. It, again, it's kind of conspicuous. It looks cool. You feel like James Bond or Moose Bond, as some people would say. I do recommend that you guys check out the links down in the description below. You guys can save up to 30% off all the hardware wallets that we're talking about. So the Tangem is nice. If you are someone that is on the go, you don't want to do too much, but you want to protect your assets, this is great. So the setup time is easy. I did a video um, on the channel. So type in Tangem when you search through the videos on this channel. And I have a setup video, unboxing video. Um, I mean, it's just a card. The build quality is mediocre, but it's really slick. This wallet, I've been using more than I thought it would. Um, so it holds Solana. You've got Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, several others, and it's just improving as well. Um, you can swap assets between the app as well. And yeah, it's nice. It's very convenient. So the real word is convenience, right? I keep this in my wallet. I can use my cell phone and use the Tangem. And the Tangem is also roughly, what, 60 bucks USD. What's really unique about the Tangem is that your private keys are just held on the card. So that could be a plus or minus for you. If you are someone that, you know, this is too much responsibility for you, where you're afraid of losing your private keys, get a Tangem. You back it up to different cards. And then if you lose your card, you just go back to the next one. So you can get the two or three set. I think it's a great option. I really do. Um, so all this is going to improve and more. So the way it works for me is convenience. Um, really, at the end of the day, I recommend perhaps you have your crypto.com app. So I use that all the time. Um, so here I've got my crypto.com Visa card. If you guys want, I should have a link for that as well. Currently, these are the wallets that I go back to the most. I would say the Trezor Model T, I use 80 to 90% of the time. My Tangem, I use 8% of the time. This I use 2% only because I manage my Cosmos, my Atom tokens for staking. Um, so if it were up to me, if I could redo everything today, the way I would do it, I'm going to assume that you have enough money in crypto, like maybe 500 or more. What I would do is I would pick up one of these wallets, depending on whatever I like, and I would use that wallet as my everyday. And then I would have something like a Trezor or a Ledger. And what I would have those wallets for is that I would set them up and I would just load up my Bitcoin or my top layer ones and I would keep them there long term, okay? So I would use my Tangem or you know Ledger maybe every day, one or the other, and I would have a Trezor for long term. Or you, keep, or you pick up two sets of Ledgers or two sets of Tangem, you have one you use every day, one you keep that you just don't connect to the internet. Because if you're going to lose your crypto, it's probably going to be because somebody gets access to your seed phrase, okay? So that's the video. I wanna keep it short and sweet. And guys, comment down below. What are your thoughts? Do you agree? What would you recommend um, differently? And we'll see you in the next one.